you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be working on the shower uh, ring for the bathtub. Uh, I don't have a blueprint or anything, but I do got some measurements and I've been thinking about it for about a week now and I think I got it figured out. Uh, and basically all this is going to be, it's going to be a ring above a bathtub so you could hook a shower curtain on it. So, uh, you can take a shower instead of a bath and it's all going to be homemade and uh, we're going to use some black iron pipe uh, I know that's probably not the best thing it'd be nice if we had aluminum but I don't have the means to be able to weld the aluminum together so we're going to do a black iron and we're going to give it a good heavy coat of paint primer and paint and I think it'll be okay I honestly do think it'll be okay uh, so let's get started and uh, get this thing built okay this is the black iron pipe uh, this is a half inch black iron pipe and I got it in a 10 foot stack section I got two of them you can pick them up right at your hardware store uh, Lowe's Home Depot or hardware store or something this is the same stuff they make gas lines out of uh, in your house so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut we need uh, to cut four pieces of this because we're going to be putting these in the pipe bender and we need um, about three and a half foot of each one we're going to cut I think three and a half foot pieces I'm going to, I'm going to double check that but before I cut it I'll make sure I give you the measurement all right I figured out we need about 51 inches of this cut now I will have to cut every single one of these both sides again but I'd rather have it a little too long than too short so we're going to go ahead and chop this one at 51 inches. Okay, now that I got a lot of cut off at my 51 inches, I'm going to need 12 inches of this because my tub is 24 inches wide. So we're going to need at least 12 inches here, which I'm going to go about 13 and a half inches. And I'm going to put it in the pipe bender. So we're just going to slide this guy across. Now I marked the center of my pipe bender. So I know exactly where I need it to be. Okay, just before it gets tight there, I'm going to put a little bit of heat on this pipe. You don't really have to do this, but I think it gives you a better bend. All I want to do is warm the pipe up. So we're going to get the bending now. When I'm bending, I just take my time and let the metal have a little bit of time to stretch. If you hurry up and do it one time, you're probably going to get a flat spot in it. And you don't want to do that. Not going to look good. I'll throw a little bit more heat in it just to heat it up again. If I wasn't putting it in the house, I probably wouldn't you know worry too much about how perfect the bends are but it is going to go inside the house you want it to look good Now 
All right, you don't want to bend it too. Well, that makes some weird noise. All right, so when you're done with the bender, what you want to have is a nice square piece of tubing. And not a bunch of kinks and stuff on the end. This one here looks good. So what we're going to have to do, we got to make four of these. So we'll get them laid out here on the floor and get them built. Okay, here's the four pieces that we had cut 51 inches. We bent them at 13 and a half, each one of them. And we got them at a 90, a 90 degree angle. So this is what we got to work with to make this shower curtain rod. Okay, so my overall length of my shower curtain from end to end, the length of it, is supposed to be 53 inches. So what I did is I laid them out on the floor and I measured until I got my 53 inches. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and we're going to cut it. We're only going to cut one right there. So this piece will go along the back. We'll go ahead and get this cut. Alright, we got this one cut down. We're just going to straighten up the ends on it so we can get them well together when we're ready. All right, for the next one, we're going to need uh, 24 inches from this side to that side. So we're just going to measure across this guy and make sure we have our 24. Now, I may take this just a little bit less, just right under the 24. And I'll show you why here in just a little bit. But I think that's good. We're just under the 24. Actually, the pipe is within the 24. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this one off here. And uh, these little scrap pieces, I'll be using them somewhere on different projects. So none of this metal will go to waste. Now the way I'm trying to build this is so when I pull my shower curtain closed, and like I said, I'm hoping that this works right, uh, we want the shower curtain to bypass in here so it's overlapping uh, in the front because you're going to have more than one shower curtain on here so hopefully we can do this and get this right so that's basically the way it's set up so we can go ahead and get this one here cut off on this side and then we'll lay it down here and we'll go from there so these little white dots on the concrete kind of represent the rafters that are in the ceiling. So we're going to go one inch past, about an inch past that rafter, or about a half inch, we'll go about a half inch past that rafter. And we're going to cut this piece of pipe off right there. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go about a half inch past it on this one to the inside. No, to the outside. We want to go to the outside on this one. So we can cut this one off right here. We want to be a little bit past. We want our pipe to pass up the rafter by at least a half inch. And I think we're, I think we're good there. I think we're good there. So, we'll go ahead and get these two cut off now. Alright, so now all we have all of our framework down. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this welded together. I think that's going to be the best step to do, is get it welded together. Then we'll start doing our brackets to mount it to the ceiling. Now right here where these two pieces are just straight, 
I'm just going to weld them in solid so water doesn't get in the inside of them. Both ends where they uh, slide overlap, we want to weld the insides of them. All right, we got our ring all together and we got the ends over here. We welded these shut so water can't get in them. That's a good thing. We don't want water to get in there because this is steel, it'll rust. So now we got some more of this black iron pipe. We're gonna cut two pieces, two inches, and two pieces, two and a quarter inches. So we'll get these cut off. Okay, we're gonna cut the two inch pieces first. All right, our little two inch blocks are gonna go like this to hold it away from the ceiling. Uh, so we just got it squared up on there and about, it's about 12 inches across there, so. Yeah, about right there. You can see about 12. This has got to be eyeballed up pretty good. I think it'll work fine. Okay, we got all of our little pieces welded on there. The two up this way, they're welded on. And that one over there is welded on. Now, I needed a flat piece of steel to make this a little bit, ring a little bit bigger. So I got this inch by quarter, inch and a, I think it's inch and a half by quarter inch thick steel. And we're going to weld them little blocks in there. And then we're going to drill a couple holes. One through this one, and one through that one over there, right there. And between them two, we want it to be four foot, because that's what our studs are. And our ceiling. So we'll get these uh, welded on here and get them drilled out. Okay, I got that lathe out there and I stretched that tape measure out there and I'm going to be drilling a hole at the four foot mark over here, four foot mark right there, and we're going to drill one hole right there because the tub is a little bigger than the four foot and the four foot is a little smaller than the tub so that's how we're going to compensate what we're doing here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drill a hole here and a hole here so we can put them screws into the ceiling. Got holes, and it, so is it three, three bolts? Yeah. Is it, is it dead? No, not yet. Go to the All right, what I'm going to do, as you can see, is I'm going to weld this dowel down in here. And being that our shower is just a wand, we're going to leave this straight. And then we get it to the house, I'll heat that up and bend it in the, in the shape that I need once I get there. So right now we're just going to bend, we're just going to weld it just like it is. All right, this is the tub that we're gonna put the tubs around around. As you can see, it's not, it's like the claw foot tub. So it's a little bit different than the other tubs. That's why we're gonna attach this piece to the ceiling. Now we haven't painted or done anything with it yet because we wanna make sure we get a dry fit on the ceiling. Now it will go in the same shape as the ceiling. It's gonna go right with the ceiling. I'm not gonna have it straight down because if it's straight down, you're, when you stand in the tub, you're actually higher than the side of the wall. So we don't want it straight. We want to try to keep as much water as we can from splashing out onto the floor. We're hoping this thing works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get it fit up there. There's not much room in this bathroom even for videotaping, but we'll do our best to get what we can on tape. Julie's going to come give me a hand. We're going to get it up there, drill some holes, and get it mounted into place. 
Okay, we got the shower uh, track up on the ceiling here. Now we have to bend this. We're going to be bending this, the guy right here, to kind of hold our shower head. That's why I put that on there. And this is the shower head that we want to get to hang on there some way. We want to hang on there some way, like so. So we can. Uh, trial and error. We yeah. don't know. <laughs> Everything here is trial and error. So. But we're going to figure it out. Okay, now uh, I'm not crazy about the way the shower head is on there. I used a couple zip ties. I welded that rod on there. I just used a couple zip ties and I bent it down this way and up and across. But I'm not crazy about that. But that's just the way it is. I definitely wanted something to hold the shower. Um, but it is up there. We got two screws to put over here yet. And I put some lags, quarter inch lag bolts in those, in both sides. They got quarter inch lag bolts. But with the shower, where it's sitting there, it actually works pretty good. As you can see, it's going right in the tub. I don't, I don't think it's going to be bad considering you didn't have a shower at all. So we're just kind of trial running this thing and seeing how it's going to work all right we got some paint on it and it looks pretty good and i threw a couple of these what do you call these things these clips for your uh shower curtain hooks. curtain hooks. yeah the curtain hooks and i think i could have left a little bit more space between here probably about an inch inch and a half I bet I'm only in a half inch on there but as you can see I think it'll work I'm thinking well it'll be a little tight getting them curtain hooks through there so Julie's gonna go ahead and throw the uh, the curtains up and see how this thing's gonna work out now the shower head I'm not crazy about the way I got it set up here I just put a couple zip ties on it but I think it'll work okay it's better in I'm not having anything to hold it up there for you. But I just used a couple zip ties. And you can see I just bent that down in the U shape. Then you can hang your rag on this piece up here if you want. I don't think it looks too bad. Now we have to figure out the shower curtain. But Julie's just going to clip that one up across the back. We have a total of four shower curtains just in case. But <laughs> I think we're going to need at least... One's bad enough, but dealing with four, I don't know. We're going to at least need three of them I know that <laughs> all right we got it all up julie got the shower curtain up she did a really nice job on it oh uh, i think she's going to trim a little bit on the inside because it's hanging but all in all i think she can work with that and be able to take a shower in there no she's problem at all yeah we have a shower in the basement and she don't really care to go to the basement all the time so this will work out a little better for her and uh I'll let you look inside here. Uh, just, I think it's going to work. Curtain's I think it'll be all right. She's going to trim the curtain off down on the bottom. It's just a little too long. So, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, it was kind of hard getting that thing to go in an angle like that. But I think it worked out better like that. Because when you're standing in your shower, you're, you know, this is, this is pretty low over here. So, hopefully we don't get any water around there. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.